<laughs> What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave here. Um, before I even talk about Mr. Incredible versus Wreck It Ralph, hold on, computer buttons, things. I was trying to turn it down so I could hear myself speak. Um, before I even talk about this episode, there was something about Heihachi versus Akuma that I really wanted to talk about, but I forgot for some reason, even though it was the thing I wanted to talk about the most. So I'm gonna go over that real quick and then. I'll start talking about Mr. Incredible versus Wreck-It Ralph. Okay, so a cool thing that happened with Hahachi versus Akuma is I actually got to debate with a close friend, DJ Tiki. I've never gotten to do that before, like usually the only people I debate with are angry people in the comments section. But it felt cool, like, actually debating with someone that um, I respect and has equal respect for me, so it was pretty cool. Just more having a friendly debate than, like, taking sides or anything. Because, I don't know, we got to, like, a point, like, we were arguing, talking, <clears throat> hold on, let me start over. <clears throat> we were talking about their feats and stuff, so I was mentioning, like, Akuma's island level, and then he mentioned the meteor, and we were arguing, like, whether destroying the meteor means you would scale to the meteor itself, or the destruction that the meteor would cause, because, I mean, if a meteor hit the Earth, and it destroyed the planets, would that really mean you'd be planet level if you destroyed the meteor? Because it could have been like a chain reaction, like... Like a mountain-sized meteor hit the Earth, but the, it caused like a ripple effect around the Earth that destroyed an entire continent. So would you be continent level for destroying the mountain-sized meteor or mountain level? Because it, it is just a giant rock. It's not like it's a magic rock with continent level durability. So we're kind of just tossing it back and forth. And so, he was more arguing for Akuma's side, and I was for Heihachi's side, obviously, because I like Tekken, and I thought Heihachi was going to win anyways. So, we got into that whole meteor discussion, and then he's like, yeah, Jack should be stronger too, because of his meteor feet. So then we got to a point where I was like, so what you're saying is, Jack is equal to Akuma. And he's like, yeah! And I was like, well, good, because Heihachi one-shots Jack. <laughs> and that was, that was the nail in the coffin. <laughs> So yeah, that's ooh, that was that was fun though. That was fun though. I never gotten a chance to like debate with a close friend. So it was interesting and fun. Now I can see why the death battle guys like when they tossed around like Link versus Cloud, tossed that all around their building, the employees, other screw attack members and stuff. Now I can see where that fun comes from because that was enjoyable. Because, I mean, we had we had some important points that we were throwing at each other. But we weren't, like, being rude about, it. like, No, Akuma wins because of this! No, Heihachi wins because of this! So, we were just tossing back and forth. But anyways, this is Mr. Incredible vs. Wreck-It Ralph, right? <laughs> I think I got my point across the thing I was trying to say. Oh, we're already at the feet section for Mr. Incredible. Wow, I wasted a lot of time. But anyways, this is the second Disney duel, and people had bad reactions to it until it came out. Like, I announced the Disney duel, and people were like, Oh, another Disney duel, ah. But this episode has had the best, like, record since Perry vs. Skipper. Hold on, hiccups. Sorry, I'm all shaky. Ugh, that tasted gross. <sighs> I have lots of awkward bodily functions that happen at random points. I'm pretty sure you did not need to know that, but there you go. Like, Perry vs. Skipper, it got, like, over a thousand views in less than 24 hours. And this was the same, it got over... I uploaded it at 9 p.m. one night, or 8 p.m., I can't remember, but... It was one of those times, like, late at night, probably the latest I've ever uploaded an episode. And then by the next morning, it already had, like, 700. And then it had, like, a thousand before lunch. It was crazy. That was, that was unlike anything I've ever seen. I think it's broken the record. It's officially broken the record that Perry vs. Skipper had. Like, Poe vs. Aang had a record, and then Perry vs. Skipper broke it, and now this this broke Perry vs. Skipper's record. And it was a Disney duel. I thought you guys didn't like Disney duels. Oh yeah, this also has the best ratings out of any episode I've done so far of any fight. It has, like, only one dislike and over 60 likes. So what's the deal with that, guys? If you don't like it so much, then why'd you like it? 
Uh, but I did have a lot of fun doing this fight. I was kind of hoping Mr. Incredible won because... I mean, I do like Wreck-It Ralph a lot, but Incredibles is just such a unique movie. And Brad Bird... I'm, I'm a huge fan of Brad Bird, so... I mean, Wreck-It Ralph was a really good video game movie. Not, not gonna lie, it's really amazing. But, I mean, it is just a video game movie. It's just a movie that takes place in a video game. There's not anything, like, super duper unique about it. It's sort of like Toy Story Syndrome, like... When the players are away, this is what the characters do. Or when the g kids are away, this is what the toys do. Sort of that thing. I just found The Incredibles to be a lot more interesting. Like just this universe of superheroes. And how they're like their own race and being discriminated against because they cause, like, collateral damage and stuff. Even though s people like Superman cause collateral damage every day in Man of Steel, it's terrible. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, this was a really fun fight to do. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> um, I am planning more Disney duels in the future, though. I do have a, I don't have a couple in mind. I do have one more Disney duel in mind. I'm sure more Disney duels will come to mind too. But there is one more involving a recent Disney movie. And trust me, when you when you see it, you'll be thanking me, and I'll be there to say. You're welcome. You're welcome. This crap, I just gave it away. Uh, sure you figured it out, though. Someone already guessed it in the comments, but I hope he doesn't try to take credit for that matchup because I actually had a poll on my community about this one and then the other one I was planning before he even said anything. So don't you dare try to, try to take credit for the matchup. Don't. I came up with it first. Mm. <laughs> Anyways. That's probably going to be a Disney duel in the future if you have any clue what I'm talking about. If not, then I probably just creeped you all out. But yeah, this is Mr. Incredible vs. Wreck-It Ralph. Not much to talk about. It was a Disney duel that people didn't want. But they loved it anyways because it was the best episode of my series so far. And see you later. Bye.